I heard you talking about uh, homosexuality and the fact that you don't believe that people are born gay. Now, like I, I've known people that would argue that there has been scientific evidence to support that there is a difference in the mentality and the mind state of someone gay, uh, physicality wise. I would agree that there's something different in the mindset and psychological environment of someone who is homosexual or lesbian. Uh, I treat homosexuality and lesbianism as a mental disorder, which is what it has been for all of African history and for all of American history up until 1973. Homosexuality was listed in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders as a mental disease in this country up until 1973 after the Rockefeller World Population Council and Planned Parenthood International. The same Planned Parenthood that is giving black women abortions all across America okay, is also the same Planned Parenthood that also contributed to the brainstorming and think tanking that went into using homosexuality as a population control strategy in the black community. And in 1972, the Rockefeller World Population Council, with influence, with some coaching by Planned Parenthood International, decided that it would be best if homosexuality would no longer be treated as an abnormal condition and that it be propagated in the black community as a healthy lifestyle choice. That was in 72. In 1973, at the annual American Psychiatric Association Convention, homosexuality was voted out of the DSM as a mental disorder. So homosexuality has only been normal in America for about 37 years. In 1974, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger penned a, a national security memorandum called NSSM 2000. It was a population control document that looked, at, that looked specifically at strategies to control the black population rate across the world. It specifically named a handful of African countries, including Nigeria, that would be specifically targeted but po with population reduction. And it also discussed population reduction here in America. And although it did not specifically list homosexuality as a strategy, it talked about healthy sexual practices, it talked about birth control, and it talked about alternative lifestyle modifications that should be introduced into communities across America, specifically the black community, to reduce our population. White supremacy has three evil faces. The first face is light skin supremacy, where it teaches black people to worship color where it teaches light-skinned people that they're better than dark-skinned people. And where certain dark-skinned people who can also be light-skinned supremacists mistreat their light-skinned brothers and sisters because they assume that they have a superiority complex when the truth of the matter is they have an inferiority complex. You have religious supremacy, where black people have been taught by white people and Arabs that you are supposed to force your religious beliefs on other people because that's the way they were forced on us in Africa. And then you have homosexual supremacy which is the coming age of social order in the black community where any black person, particularly black men, in order for you to be successful as an entrepreneur, as an athlete, as an entertainer, as a clergyman, okay, you're going to have to bend over and have sexual relations with a homosexual male to prove that you are still the white man's bitch. So white supremacy and homosexuality is, a, is, a, is connected. Yes, yes, without a, without a doubt. White supremacy and homosexuality are connected. In fact, when you study slavery, you'll find that homos homosexual acts by white slave masters with black slaves was rather frequent. But it wasn't talked about a lot, particularly when the slave narratives were written after slavery, when the interviews were done by the government and other entities. Because as you would imagine, no man wants to admit that he was raped by another man. So homosexuality has a long legacy in the black community. I don't mean to insist that most white people are gay. I don't believe that. Okay, but homosexuality is an outgrowth of Greco-Roman culture. Where most of the uh, philosophers, most of the religious leaders, most of the uh, political leaders were all gay. That's why Roman Catholic priests aren't allowed to have sex with women. Because women were considered to be the symbolic representation of Satan. That's why the woman made Adam eat from the tree in the garden. And so she became a handmaiden of the devil. If you believe in those types of religious stories. I don't believe in religious fairy tales. Okay. But this is what we are taught. 
And as a result of that, in Roman Catholicism, because the woman is dirty, because she's evil, you don't have sex. And so it is natural for humans to want to exercise that sexual impetus. And so since you can't have sex with a woman because she's the devil, then you have sex with men. And there's also a relationship between homosexuality and pedophilia, especially in Greco-Roman cultures. You will see that a lot of the gay white men in Greco-Roman culture not only had sex with other men, they had sex with little white boys. And that's why when you look at a lot of the paintings of white gods from Greece and Rome, you see a lot of little boy angels around those gods. That's because those gods were pedophiles. And they would have sex with the little boy angels when they wasn't ex ministering duty to the universe. Do you think that there is any difference between male uh, homosexuality and female lesbianism? Lesbianism and black women is intimately connected with a hatred for black men. It's also intimately connected in some sisters for a hatred for black womanhood. We have to remember that the black woman was masculinized at the same time that the black man was emasculated. So a lot of black women feel that they can never embody what it truly means to be beautiful, what it truly means to be feminine. So many of them have decided to live their lives as men the same way many, many black men who feel that they can never embody what it truly means to be masculine, they have chosen to live their lives as women. But for most of our sisters, I find, and the lesbian sisters who I know and have done work with, for most of them, it's a rejection of black manhood for the hatred, the rape, the molestation, the domestic violence that they've seen their mothers and other adult women in their life undergo and certain experiences that they have had with the men themselves. A lot of lesbians who I know were sexually molested as little girls by men who they loved and trusted. So unlike many of my brothers and sisters, I don't believe they should be ostracized, mistreated, rounded up and killed. As I said, homosexuality and lesbianism is a mental disorder and it can be cured and treated just like any other mental disorder. You can cure a homosexual, you can cure a lesbianism. It's not a biological disease, it's psychological. And the reason why a lot of black people think they were born that way is the same reason why a lot of black people think they're inferior to white people. You've been going around thinking and believing something so long that it becomes your reality. It's not true reality, it's your reality. They're not born that way, there's, there's very little proof to substantiate that. Most of the so-called evidence that is out there, because there's no conclusive proof, there's only evidence is being sponsored by homosexual groups. So it's already biased because it's being put out by people who are trying to advance, you know, their own set of beliefs. The bottom line is this. Forget nature and nurture. The bottom line is this. Is it advantageous for our black women, for so many black men to be gay? Period. Only one out of every four black women gets married. So if you got one out of every four black men becoming homosexual, how does that help our system? How does that help the community? How does that help our children? How in the hell do you prepare for a war with white supremacy where most of your men want to have sex with the white man they're supposed to be fighting?